Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to more Kaecilia's Legit Zeon. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've last been able to sit down and play this, so I don't exactly remember where we are. I remember we just took the rest of the atmosphere, side five, side six, and we're going to go take all of this stuff. And then side six is going to go neutral after we move out of it, but we're sending Kaecilia and her guys over to space three, sending these eight guys down to side two, then from there, I think we'll send them into side four, and then we'll have all of that done. Then I think we'll build up a couple of Zakus, some HLVs, and go land on Odessa and take that. And then we'll start turtling up to Gaians. Because if we control Odessa, it'll just be really good, because it's worth quite a bit of credits. And right now, we're kind of deficient on credits. Hey, we'll be about equal on both sides. We'll actually be making slightly more credits than we will. Or... Slightly more resources than we are credits, but that doesn't really matter. There'll be a difference of like 60 or something. But we'll burn through our credits so fast that it won't really matter. We also need to tech up like four times, which is going to be exciting. But yeah, so I recorded a little bit of, a little bit of this already. It took me about five minutes to realize I still had cheat codes on. Because I was recording uh, cutscenes for the Federation and Xeon. And trying to play those legitimately is boring as fuck. So, yeah, I was using cheat codes, and I totally, like, I started playing, and I was like, wow, I can afford a lot of stuff. I wonder why. Anyway, on a complete side note, if any of you guys want to, well, if you can record in 1080, 60, uh, in software mode on this, and you guys want to record any of the AUG, uh, Axis, or Titans cutscenes, I'd be highly appreciative of that. I need to translate those, but playing those campaigns, I've either already started them or don't feel like playing them, i.e. the Titans. So I need to finish that one of these days, though I might start over since it's been so long. I don't know, live streaming's kind of weird right now. But anyway, I think we're pretty much good. I don't know, we need to save our, our resources and our credits, so we don't want to do that. Um, there's nothing we can really do down here. We have basically the entire atmosphere under lock, so we should just do all this. And where are these guys going, anyway? Side five. Oh, they're moving here. Maybe they go... Hmm. You know what? We don't actually need to move them. Though, I do want to swap these guys. Because I would rather have the Ilmets here, though I should probably stick them over Jaburo. That's India, I don't really... I think this one's Jaburo? Yeah, you know what? M it's only because Jaburo's their capital and they generally try to attack out from there. I think we'll move... All those guys over to here, move all of these guys over to there. The reason I was having a move to Odessa originally... Is because they have a Zanzibar, so we could drop them straight in. But I do realize that these are mobile armors and completely useless on the ground, so we'll avoid that. Yeah, everything's recording all good, so I think it is time to end the turn. Unless we're about to get attacked and I forgot, which would kind of suck, but, you know, we could deal with it. We have enough troops. Nope. Nope. We didn't get attacked anywhere. Unless we got attacked in Hawaii, but that's their problem. As far as this goes, they have uh, a GM command, a GM can or a standard GM, a GM command, a GM cannon, a GM command, a Columbus. And yeah, that's all. Whoops. One more button click in there than I was used to. So I think we're going to go straight at them. We're going to go straight down the middle since they're probably going to send guys at us and we'll try to surround them. Do we have any commanders in here? We do. We have all of them, in fact. Which isn't bad. Not at all. Oh, and they didn't actually come at us. Luckily with these, we don't really have to rush it since these aren't production points. And they don't border any Federation-controlled production points. So we don't have to worry about losing or about waiting and then producing a shit ton of troops because the AI cheats. We only have to wait for that. We only have to worry about that in Odessa, which it's totally going to happen in Odessa. 
I tell you this now, they, don't, they probably don't have any troops around there, but as soon as we attack, they'll have like 40 pop out of nowhere. It's always how that works. Just go look up my invasion of side 3 in the Axis campaign. Like, I legitimately, they had 3 troops, and then when I invaded, they had 17. Just out of nowhere. I had them completely outmaneuvered, and they just made people appear out of nowhere. Still pisses me off. But yeah, I have the two capturing the bases and then the other two moving to defend them. Because there's only Mikhail and Ortega there, or Mash there. No, that is Ortega, right? I always get the Black Tri-Stars mixed up. Versus everyone else who has better pilots, and I think McCuvey's in one of these, isn't he? But yeah, McCuvey, Simmis, and Nimbus are here. So these two have better pilots, and this is a two-stack, so they're more likely to attack it. So, just having these guys get experience is way more useful. Because I probably should have been training McCuve the whole time. Because while he is a piece of shit, he can be kind of useful. If you let him be. I wasn't, though. Which is a problem. All that cannon's attacking us. To be honest, I don't think it could have done enough damage to do more than take out a single suit. So, not much to worry about there. Offhand, I don't remember how much damage they do, but I think it's 90. Oh. I reorganized the wrong one because I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Can you get... Oh, no, you can't. Okay. I was going to have these guys go try to attack this stack, but we'll do that next turn. I could have these guys attack this one, and they could probably do it, but I want Mikuve to get the experience. He's nowhere near rank B, but, you know, oh well. Yeah, I think he needs like 40 more experience, and this will only get him 15. Oh. I didn't know GM cannons have bean spray guns. I thought they had machine guns, because they didn't have the reactor to use beam spray guns while they had the giant S cannon. Though I think in this one, the giant S cannon is conventional, so it doesn't really matter. Whatever you say, MASH. Or is that Arte- no. Is that Gaia or MASH? And yeah, they're having everyone run away, but I'm about to take the place they're running away to, so... Like, shit sucks, man. Oh, as far as enemies go, they have two standard GMs, two GM commands. And yeah, we just have Kaecilia and a bunch of Zaku, to, uh, Zaku guys. Not Zaku 2 guys, Zaku guys. Though I think I point that out, like, every time I see them. Luckily, we're gonna, we have a Guazine, which, Guazines are awesome. Literally, no one can shoot them down in one turn, absent, like, Big Zom. Which is nice. Not that spreading particles there really helped, but oh well. If they don't send people at us, we'll send our troops out and f uh, we'll put the Guazin in a place where it could fire at them, but it won't give them any particle cover. And you have a four attack range, I think, right? Yeah. Um, you, you, and you, I guess. And we'll just move you in there for the lulls. Um, yeah, we had a flapper in here, which I think we want to stick that at the bottom, actually. Yeah, space command, space commands. So it wasn't actually two normal GMs, it was all space commands, but oh well. 
Um, we don't want to spread particles now, because while that would benefit us later, if we do it, they'll move in and get the particle cover, and we don't want that. Whoops. And since Kaecilia is here, it doesn't matter who pilots what. Her charisma is actually kind of useful. Sometimes. Wow. Oh yeah, this is on special mode. I was about to say, that's a lot of damage to... You know, do with a just a ship alone. Usually don't get that. But we get double damage, so it makes sense. Hey, you guys! No running away now, you hear? Who do we have here? We have Bernie, we have Big Nose, and that's it. I like my Bernie burgers, though, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna move you two here. You're going to fire as well. I don't think we'll be able to kill them this turn, but we'll kill this guy, so they'll have to retreat back. Though we might get lucky and actually kill them. Who knows? Oh. Oh yeah, there's pilots there too. For some reason, I was getting them fixed, uh, them mixed up with the stack that had Bernie. But yeah, Johnny Ridden apparently was in that stack and took a bunch of damage. But he only survived because he's Johnny Ridden. He's not really good in this campaign so far. Because we didn't really do shit with him. And then Bernie, who's kind of really trash, but who cares. Uh, Bernie's just bad in this game in general. Like, stat-wise, he's really, really weak. And I really don't like that, because he was actually pretty good at the end of the OVA. But in general, in this one, he's just crap. Uh-huh. We got some things. Woo. Yeah, we're building some troops up here. Oh, we're building HLVs up. That's cool. How many troops do they have on Odessa, anyway? Twelve, and they're building a shit ton more. Great. Building some tropins. They're at their unit limit, so them building troops actually doesn't matter. See how on the that Dom and then the Zigok it has zero turns? That means they're at their troop limit and can't produce any more. Are they really, though? Because 15, 30, uh, that's 60, another 30, uh, that's 104, 140, 148, 151, 170, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. I didn't think they would have, like, 36 guys here and, you know... 15 there and everything, but, like, from what I've seen to their troops, they don't have that many. That's weird. Yeah, we gotta repair some dudes. But yeah, we'll drop straight on Odessa. They'll appropriate, like, a thousand guys out of nowhere. Should be interesting. Because, yeah, they'll send uh, these guys who are in India to reinforce, because you can move three, three locations. So, you know, here, then to here, because I think there's a connection between these two. Yeah, there is. Down here. So yeah, they'll move these guys in. They'll move these guys in. They'll probably move these guys in. And... Yeah. Move some people from over here as well. So we gotta be ready for about 40. Yeah, we did some spying. We'll do some minimum investments. And then we'll continue on. But yeah, you'll notice that side 6 disappeared since we're not occupying it anymore. We get good guy points for letting it go neutral again. But that means we miss out on 600 credits per turn, which kind of sucks. But oh well. Hmm. Yeah, this one has McCuve in it. So we'll send you to attack. Yeah, you can't scan in Sakukai's. We'll send these guys over to here to cut these ones off. And we'll send these guys as well. And we'll send these guys as well. A 
They'll have to send one guy back towards the center. Yeah, for shooting these guys down. They'll send one guy back towards that center base to defend it. And then they'll probably send the other one into the middle of nowhere. So we'll just kind of pincer him if we get the chance. And I think Simis lost somebody. But then again, it's Simis, so no one really cares. Yep. It'll be more annoying to reach that third guy, or that second guy. Then it'll be to kill them. Yeah, whatever you say, Mkube. Oh, it's a uh, GM commander. You guys have fun with that. Those are, like, I make fun of GM commanders all the time. Because they're legitimately weak for what they are. Like, they're underpowered compared to the normal GM. But if you're not going to stick a commander in them anyway, there's no point in building commander suits. Like, you're just better building a bunch of grunts. We don't have these two bases, so we can't just capture these two bases and win. But if we had captured those earlier, we could just capture them and this guy would die through space artillery or something. Because we have that, we're just not allowed to use it till... You know, the very, very end. On Earth, it kind of makes sense. But in space, it's just like, yeah, you know, we just had these cannons that shoot like 40,000 miles away. Nothing major. They should probably move the Gwazian in and scan them. Oh, well. Yeah, Big Nose and Bernie getting some more experience. Oh, it's standard GMs, too. Yeah, standard GMs, I think, do 76 damage. Not counting melee. Yay, we got some things. And stuffs. Huh. Well, they done captured side 6. So... We're gonna grab literally one's out. Well, I don't want to do it from that one because that one's kind of weak. Um, we're gonna go grab literally three Zaku's, move them to there, grab these guys, repair them, move them to here, then going to go here. Oops, not that one. We want this one. We want to tech up a little bit. And yeah, there's nothing here we want to research just yet. It might be worth it to go for doms a little bit early, but we can wait for now. Um, you need flight gauffs to get doms early. Or guffs, depending on which version of this you really care about. Yeah, they have a gun cannon, probably with Hayato or Kai piloting it. And then a normal GM and a GM space command. Do I need to translate that? Basically, uh, Garcia's being a dick. Bernie's saying he's a member of Cyclops 2. Or the Cyclops team, too. I think that's like the only line of dialogue they have together in that whole OVA. At least it's the only one I remember, but I hear it all the time, so... That's probably why. Oh, they're actually running away. That's interesting. Here, I thought they would actually fight me. Assholes. Yeah, we'll have to go back to side six and liberate it, because the Federation gives no fucks. Actually, I'm pretty sure the AI doesn't know that it's neutral. 
and that it's not just unoccupied, so they like move into it to think it thinking that it's unoccupied. But I like my narrative better. Wait, could the Gwazian scan from there? I didn't check. No, it couldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cassilia, go kill that guy so you can get a slight bit more... Okay. She didn't get that slight bit of uh, EXP that I wanted her to get, but oh well. Because I think later we can stick her in a mobile suit. Or if not, we can stick her in a mobile armor. You know exactly which one we're going to do. Um, Simis and McCuve. I find it weird that Mikube has 100 morale. That's just weird. Well, then again, he probably instantly has 100 morale because he's just that weird. We don't need more than just one unit to attack it, so there's no point in telling him to attack. That just wastes uh, fatigue and energy. God. Well, actually, that top one was generic, so I can't blame Mikuve for that, but he let one of his allies get shot down. Those things are expensive, damn it. So yeah, we'll stick those two guys in, have them attack from the north. These guys attack this way. They'll probably send one guy over to here. But that's nothing really to worry about. Yeah, we have our HLVs off to the side. Um, we'll tech up to eight real quick. Then I think next turn we'll start mass producing some more Zakus. Or, you know, doing it now. And if you'll notice the credit cost on these things went down. I think it used to be 750, it's now 680. That means we built, like, something like, what is it, 50? You either need to build 30 or 50, and then you get the first discount, which is about 10%. And after you build 100, I think it is, you get the second discount, which is half price. Or 25% off, I can't remember exactly. But hey, the Federation and Zeon are fighting each other. But yeah, it's something to, like, it, like, simulates industrial efficiency or something like that. You never really notice it, though, because the thresholds are so ridiculously high. And Xeon's getting its ass kicked. Like, the only times it's really became important for me was during the CCA campaign, when I built, like, nine Sazabees because I wanted to get everyone in Sazabees because... I was stupid and thought new type suits worked for everyone. Like, the bits don't work, but, like, they're still good, right? No, because Psycho Mew Systems actually gives you a negative, or, uh, malice if you aren't a new type. Apparently, anyway. I've never actually seen proof of that. Then again, this game is horribly, horribly documented. It's like, you need the strategy guide and to speak Japanese just to know what the fuck you're doing half the time. Then again, I've been trying to think of ways in which I would implement a better, like, rule system. Or at least a more apparent rule system, and except for a really well-detailed wiki, I couldn't really think of a good way to do it. Because right now you can press start over buttons, and, like, well, you can't do it here. Yeah, that pops up. But that's like, oh yeah, that does a thing. Uh-huh. How well it's written is literally like, oh yeah, it does something. Yeah, they have a GM command. Oh, and a mass production gun cannon. I always get those mixed up. Which means there's no Kai or no Hayato. QQ. But oh well.
Um, so gun cannons have a three attack range, so I inadvertently move them in a really, really good manner. Because now we can close the distance rather easily. Um, can we send these guys out? We can. So reinforcements are never a bad thing. Yeah, no one's there. So these guys will get crushed. And they have to counter one of the guys who are mailing them, because that's how the game works. Also, I just noticed the black dot in his hat. If you look to the, like, the left side of his head, there's just a random black dot there. I don't know if that's censoring or what. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that and I just don't remember. And we got... The Absolus! Woo! I didn't know we could actually get that in this campaign. Uh, the Big Rend, I think that's called? That's the one from MSA Glue that's basically a big row on a battleship. Or at least on the hangar bay of a battleship. Completely useless. It's alright if you get it for free, but it's not worth buying. Like, it's kind of crap. Actually, you know what? We're gonna move these guys to here. Because we're going to load them all up into HLVs and just drop them. After we move all the ace pilots out. Like, say, here. Because, well, new types aren't as effective in non-new type units. Why worry about that? We can stick them in Zaku's and they, they can do some good. Um... Yeah, I think we'll build some more Zaku's and tech up later. But, folks, if you enjoyed the episode, you should like. If you didn't, you can go fuck yourselves. We'll be back later, slash next week, slash tomorrow, slash whenever I got more time to record, for the invasion of Odessa. And, yeah, I think we're just going to invade Odessa, because I don't really care about the stuff around it. Then after Odessa, we'll go tech up to Gion's and maybe build some high gogs, even though you guys have seen that before. And we'll go invade the world with a fleet of Zanzibars and Gions. And possibly, uh, Effort Kai's if we get to build those. But I don't know. We should also eventually go start building all of this shit. Because I think it'll unlock some more stuff. Apparently we have some gut We have some light armors or some speed GMs and GM snipers. Totally forgot about those. But yeah. We should probably develop that if we want the Effort Kai thinking about it. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. You all know how that works. Anyway, folks, good night.